producing and sharing your video from Camtasia 9. Once you're finished uh, recording and editing your video, you'll want to share it with your audience. You'll do that by clicking the share button in the upper right hand corner of the interface and selecting the destination for the uh, compressed uh, rendered video. We'll start with YouTube since that's a likely destination. If you are not signed into your Google account, you will be prompted to do so. Uh, as we can see, I am here, so I can just proceed. I'll have to give the uh, video a title. And a description. These are not optional. And at least one tag. We can select category and a privacy level from public to private to unlisted. I'm going to leave this one public. Anyone can view it or search for it. And uh, I'm going to upload the captions that I've already created in Camtasia. Clicking finish will start the compression process which will be followed by an automatic YouTube upload. And here's the video on YouTube, complete with captions. Another likely destination is a local media server or web server. You can share the video that way by again going to the share button and selecting custom production and new custom production. In most circumstances, you'll uh, choose the MP4 smart player format, the HTML5 enabled format. Uh, generally, you'll take the defaults here. You can, under video settings, alter quality. That's one thing you might occasionally do. And just keep clicking next in the wizard. Here you can brand the video. and certain other options, which we will use relatively rarely. And finally, we'll need to give the video a name. The default is to use the name of the project. And indicate where the uh, files constituting the rendered video will be stored. We'll just put them in our Camtasia Studio folder under Documents. And to uh, execute the render, we'll just click Finish. The video is now rendered and located in our Camtasia Studio folder in a folder named FastFox. We open this folder up. We'll see the fastfox underscore player dot html file, which is the one that you will actually link to once you copy this folder to a web server uh, or media server. Once the folder is copied to the media server, the video can then be accessed by URL. Other destinations are possible, but the process is basically the same in each case. And that's all there is to producing and sharing your Camtasia Studio projects.